tea time. Did you hear the story about the woman who confronted her mother's killer? This woman's name is Martha McKay, and in 1996, she got a call that no daughter ever wants to hear. The police told her that her mother and her cousin had been murdered on their family property in Horseshoe Lake, Arkansas. Of course, Martha was stressed and depressed after learning about her mother's murder, and they actually caught the killer who lived in one of the properties that her mother owned. His name was Travis Lewis. He was 17 years old at the time he murdered Martha's mother. But Martha had been studying the Buddhist religion and she realized that the only way she would be free from the hatred in her heart was to visit him in prison. When she went to visit him in prison, she looked him in his eyes and she sincerely told him, I forgive you. And once she did that, she drove home feeling so free. He watched him as he went through his time in prison and every time he was up for parole, she would write a letter recommending that he be released early. When he was finally released, she offered him a job at the very property that she lived in, the same property where her mother had been murdered more than 20 years before. Not even a year after the two began working together in her home, her body was found at the top of the steps, bludgeoned and stabbed to death multiple times, wrapped in a blanket and left for dead. Travis Lewis was the one who murdered her. The same man that she forgave for her mother's murder, the same man that she advocated for his release from prison, the same man that she offered a job in her own home, turned around and murdered her too. What a sad case of when doing the right thing goes wrong. I'm Tierka with the T. Follow for more.